Now, what I want you to bear in mind is that I completely meant to do that. Look how perfect that landing and execution was. Hey, what's up guys, Aaron over here, and welcome back to a brand new video today, and welcome to sort of a part two, in a way, going off of the video we uploaded yesterday on the channel, which was driving a Formula One car on a Lego Speedway circuit. Today, we take on the Lego Hot Rod car, and we're driving the Lego car around an actual Formula One circuit. As you can clearly see in front of your eyes, we've got the Lego Hot Rod we had in yesterday's video. Um, as you can clearly see, it is made of Lego. It's a brilliant mod. I'll link it in the description and go check it out and download it for yourself if you want to try it on a set of Corsa. Um, it's probably not got a lot of moving parts, to be honest. It's not as quick as I imagined. I thought it was going to be, you know, magically quick, almost like an actual, you know, Lego hot rod, you know, like in the adverts when they try to sell the Lego and whatnot. You know, they always make these things look like rocket ships on wheels, basically. But uh, no, in reality, it was a lot slower than the Formula One car. But it, you know, I feel like it will have its own, you know, little foibles, character Characteristics, and I'm curious to see how it is in the open world in a real, real circuit. No Lego Speed Champions Raceway, just a thoroughbred Monaco Grand Prix circuit. How's it going to shape up? Well, today we find out. <laughs> right, here we are, and oh my lord, what a, what a camera view this is. This is quite something. What cameras do we have? All right, we have the chase cam, of course. Two of them. We have the bonnet cam, which, well, we can see a lovely view of the Lego pistons on the engine. Uh, the normal one, and then, and then that's a uh, more zoomed-in cockpit cam. So, this is it. This is our view. Let's see. Ooh. That is a beefy-sounding Lego hot rod. Right. Underway. Oh, it's got quite a bit of wheel spin, actually, you know, and... The, uh, the, the steering is very light, I can't lie, there's a lot of play in the steering, I mean, that is just, yeah, that's stunning. Right, this is actually really difficult to see out of, right, we exit into Monaco, this is actually very hard to see, there's a lot of glare, it's not ideal, to be honest, um, but we'll have to deal with it, to be, it's actually fine now, that's, uh, that's all good, actually, without the shadows coming in, it's all fine, but this is... Oh, it's rocking away like a boat. It actually feels like we're kind of in water. There's not a lot of downforce and grip, as you would imagine, with uh, a Lego hot rod car. I mean, the aerodynamics are quite blunt and uh, solid, shall we say. But uh, apart from that, I feel like the suspension movement is quite good. I feel like this could definitely take a lot of bumps, as it would have to on a normal Lego road. Uh, but a Monaco, I don't know. I mean, is the turning circle pretty good? That's uh, that's actually a lot better than the F1 car. So it's got a better turning circle around the hairpin. Shuck it in here. I think a lot of the corners are second gear, I can't lie, in a Lego car. I've also got caught on something there. Right. Oh! Okay. The acceleration there was not what I was expecting. All right. The tunnel. Let's see. Let's really push the limits of the car. Oh, no. It's been sucked in. It's got... Oh, it's got... Uh, I can't lie. The, the steering is very funny. It's very fun. It almost feels like a point of dead zone where the wheel just wants to move on its own. And that's it. I can't lie, this is a very funny view. This is a very, very stupid view as well. Look at this thing go around Monaco. It looks so... It's so tall. I don't know why. I said this in yesterday's video, but I thought this would be a lot smaller in comparison. But it's actually massive. Like, it's so tall. But it's not as wide as I thought to kind of match how tall it is. Right, we're going to start a proper lap here. And uh, I don't know, I feel like a different... Ca I feel like this camera might be the camera for us. Let's see. Right, we go on the way. You know what? No, that's not the camera for us because I can't see anything. That's the bonnet cam. Um, it is quite handy, actually. Let's watch the Lego pistons go nowhere because they're made of Lego and we don't have moving parts um, in this car. But nonetheless, I can see more of the circuit this way. It is a bit of a weird way to steer, though, because I feel like now where my steering wheel is in conjunction to this front of this car is very far away. So it's kind of hard to tell the depth of field. And no matter how much I talk about that, it's still going to take the fact that I'm just hitting the walls because this car seems to get sucked into the walls. Easy does it into Mirabeau. First gear has a lot of... has a lot to give. I feel this first gear is very underrated in the Lego. Oh, oh my! What the hell? What? <laughs> oh 
I'm just here talking about the play and the steering. You can see the rear end stepping out. I was talking, I was about to say the first gear. It's a very underrated gear in this hot rod car. You know, unlike most cars, this first gear for this car pretty much is able to take you everywhere around the circuit. But then we just fly through. I got on the curb way too much. And then look at it. It's it's toppled over like Lego, to be fair. It's exactly how Le Lego acts. You know, I remember as a kid playing Lego, and the car just toppled over like that. I did not expect that. What was that? <laughs> that, was, that was a Top Gear moment. That was a Reliant Robin Top Gear moment. In the Lego... Oh, oh my! What the hell? Right, we go again. It's take number two of the hairpin at full pelt. Let's not get on the curb this time. There we go. Really picked our line there. Nicely through. Lot of understeer having to turn the wheel completely upside down to get some turning, but we're finessing it nonetheless and getting used to it somewhat. You know, you just have to really be quite aggressive with the handling, I think. Just really, you know, don't be afraid to get the wheel by the scruff of the neck and really turn it! Yep, there we go. That's what I meant. Yep, all good. All good. Straighten it up. That's more like it. <laughs> now, what I want you to bear in mind is that I completely meant to do that. Look how perfect that landing and execution was. Okay? It was... It was choreographed. It's even better from this camera angle, I feel, because this is going to be the cinematic one. Oh, look at it go! That. That's Tekkers right there. That's pure finesse and skill. You don't see that anywhere else. Down to second gear. Lovely. Front end's going to wash out a little bit. Then we're going to break harsh. Gear one. Really get turned. Take a lot of curb there. And then we come through to the end of the lap. And that is a very dramatic but entertaining lap of the Monaco Grand Prix. I feel like this actually car actually could benefit from drifting around these corners, you know. There's the rear end wags, but we have completed Monaco in a decent uh, effort. I think we are fully ready now to go racing with the hot rods at Monaco. The grid is set. We have got a load of Formula One cars as well, because, you know, it's only fair. We did this yesterday on the Lego territory. We're now we're now in the away match. We're now at Monaco, the F1's turf. It's only, you know, only fitting we invite them back to the second half of the race championship. Um, we're now in the Lego car, though. Uh, I, I'm starting in P10. You can see, once again, the Lego cars are at the start. So hopefully, as a group, as a unit, as I witnessed the AI do yesterday, I can, with the AI, band together to hold back the Formula One cars. Um, and at Monaco, you know, unlike like the Lego Speedway, which was a beautiful course, by the way. Uh, you know, Monaco is Monaco. It's hard to overtake. Hopefully, we can go wide enough and block them. And if all else fails, I can just do a flip of sorts and block the track that way and bring out a safety car. Um, let's forget the fact there is no safety car in this game, but you can pretend there will be. All right, here we go to six red lights to the Monaco Grand Prix in a load of Lego hot rods and Formula One cars. The lights are out, and we're on the way. Is it going to be a good start for me versus the AI? Not too sure. It's very, you know, I, I said this on the lap. So visibility is not great in these cars, but I've nonetheless sent it. <laughs> what? Oh, my Lord. Oh, no. We've had many issues there. There's been many, many problems. Many problems. Uh, two cars have flipped already, and I think there may be a blockade of sorts behind me. I can't tell. What on earth went on here? I need to witness this. Right, where's the where's the start of this race then? Wow, we have to wait an age for the lights, but we need to move to other cars because I feel like one of these cars was uh, at fault here. Send... Oh my god. All three of them in unison. That is... <laughs> Oh, look at that sight. That is amazing. I mean, that's amazing as well, but oh no. Oh, dearie me. They're all stuck. Um, I feel like maybe we need a few F1 cars at the start of the grid, perhaps. I'm not too sure, unless they're going to sort themselves out. But what, what's happened there is the AI... Um, 
uh, well, basically the AI coded to, you know, take Monaco, like Monarchy, you know, really send it into turn one, and the, uh, the car's too, too light, because it's made out of Lego, let's be fair, um, and it's toppled over. Um, so th that, that's an issue. Giving this one a restart, just in case, just to give the AI benefit of the doubt, maybe, maybe they can survive this second attempt, but here we go, we're gonna take it a little bit easy, hang back. And just let the carnage unfold. We've also got some Formula 1 cars behind me, remember, to also deal with. And there goes one. It looks actually so tiny now. Uh, there's a good reason why it, we felt like, well, these LEGO cars felt like giants yesterday in the LEGO Speedway race. Because these F1 cars really are minuscule in comparison. I've had a very slow uphill battle, but I feel like these AI will make mistakes. They're going to fall over, and that's when I'll pick up the pieces uh, basically, so just take this nice and easy, or actually very nice move around the outside. Use the wall uh, as a as an aid. That's um that's something that happens all the time in Lego Hot Rod Racing. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that was quite scary. The F1 car surges down the inside. I've gone down the inside of a Lego car. It's three wide. It's absolute carnage up ahead. Yellow flags. As oh dear, no, I know what's happened here. There's a car on its side. Yep, that's a that's that's unfortunately a casualty of Lego Hot Rod Racing at Monaco, okay? It happens to one car every single Monaco Grand Prix. It's just a fact that you can't get away with. And with that, though, I'm up into sixth place, looking very good right now. I think uh, I think maybe the top positions are being held by the Formula 1 cars, I can't lie. I think myself and this one Hot Rod left up ahead are the only Hot Rods left uh, in the top five or six, but we'll have to see. Oh, no! I lie! There were... There were four... And all four of them have crashed. How about that? <laughs> this is the most carnage I've ever seen in a set of course arrays. These AI are berserk. Where is it? Here we go. Watch this. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> then, oh, there goes another one. Joining. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like bowling. Yep, that one's retired. Oh. <laughs> this... This is this is what the lockdown's done to me, and you know what? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Right, lead is on the final lap. I think that's because he's an F1 car. Oh no, I've nearly lost it. No, get it back. Yes. Oh my lord, my life flashed before my eyes. I need to finish this race. I need to finish it. But the F1 car's gonna win it. But we've got to be the lead hot rod. Do it for the the hot rod massive that just crashed stupendously every single corner at this circuit. We've got to finish in second place, okay? We've got to do it for them. I don't know where the other F1 car is. I think he's in P3 because he's rapidly closing up to me. I think he's right behind me. Yes, there he is. No, we've lost second place. The, podi the podium's gone. I was about to say the podium's still on, but no, I've lost it. No, yes, we're back the right way. Thank you, F1 cars. We keep going. We're going to finish the lap. We, we can't get any points, probably, for the Hot Rod Massive. But what we can do is we can finish the race and actually show the F1 cars that the LEGO Hot Rods can indeed make it around a real circuit, okay? We're not just for the make-belief tracks. All right, easy, Arav. Easy round here. Oh, there's a bit of faint smoke there from the previous Hot Rod crash. Interesting. Going to avoid the curb on the right there. Just basically avoid any kind of height change, to be honest, because... The car is so heavy and top-heavy, it just topples over. But well, who would have thought? Not me. All right, easy does it, Arav. Nice and gently. Cut the apex there. Lovely. Over the bumps. See, cutting the corner is the correct way to take that part of the circuit in a hot rod, I think you'll find. And really get the nose in. Use that barrier to good use, even though it's kind of pulling me along now. Oh! Oh! No! No! Yes! Spin it round, spin it round. Nothing to see, nothing to see, Marshall there on the left. Nothing to see. I've got blue flags, I'm being lapped. I'm actually being lapped in a two lap race of the Monaco Grand Prix. This is a new level of being horrendous. But we come through the final corner whilst we get lapped and pushed out the way to come home for a historic sixth place for the hot rod car at the Monaco Grand Prix. That is something to be proud of. I, I mean, it's not because this is horrendous car 
at this, and that's really a great way to end, isn't it? So, guys, I, I, I don't know what that was. That, uh, that was absolute carnage and hilarity there. The Lego Hot Rods around Monaco did not disappoint me in the slightest. If you guys enjoyed that as well, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and let me know if you want to keep on seeing silly videos like this, because I'm loving, I'm loving it. I, I mean, it, you know, lockdown is turning me crazy, slowly but surely, but it's amazing. The, these have been so funny to record. The last two have been great. Yeah, guys, if you did enjoy that, then yeah, let me know. Uh, and if you have any more configurations, let me know in the comments below that you want to see. If you're new around here, do get subscribed for weekly fall on content. I've been Arifa. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.